So I'm still here in Les Islettes. And they do not have Wi-Fi. So I asked at, at the reception uh, uh, where I do have Wi-Fi. I'm, I'm not going out of my words because I'm talking French, German and English and whatever. So uh, let me get that. Uh, she said to go to a village about uh, 12 minutes from here. So I'm gonna to eat, going to eat something and after that I'm going to drive there and hopefully I can update my vlog. Uh, temperature is really good. Uh, it's about 22 degrees Celsius I think. Uh, but it's becoming more cloudy. So maybe I can see something of the area here. Look, I'm parked in the other way. I don't know if you can see that. There behind, uh, beside the house. So I'm gonna eat something and then leaving here. So I washed my camper today and did, uh, did wash the solar panel again because it was still dirty from the dust from the festival and I checked the oil and the water for the window wipers so. and uh, now I was actually looking for a Wi-Fi point because they hadn't had it they didn't have it uh, at the campsite I was and it said in the book they had it but well they didn't and so the lady from the reception was so nice to uh, look up for me uh, another Wi-Fi point in the area. And uh, I think I actually took the wrong turn. So I ended up here. And uh, look at the horses there. The weather is really nice. So let me see if I can uh, get the horses to come over me over here. Come on! Come on! Yeah! Come! Well, I find a campsite and uh, the person who's responsible will be here in 10 minutes so I hope I'm allowed to because I checked and the signal is very strong but it's password protected of course so I have to wait for 10 minutes well I think Wi-Fi is a really big problem in France because I'm here at this campsite and they gave me the access code but it's still not working we tried everything but it's not working and she said well we don't have Wi-Fi then okay gonna look further I hope to find something today anyway I'm gonna drive to my next location and it's a, a, a two hours drive I think but I'm not sure if I'm gonna go all the way. I will see where I end up today. So let's go. fields and they're harvesting I'm already so 
so done with this landscape. Grain, grain, sunflowers. Grain, 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 grain. Ah, oh, it looks like the fucking twilight zone. Can't seem to get out of this. Yes, I've arrived at Genville. And I'm really tired of driving. And especially really tired of the grain fields. <laughs> And I saw that I'm really uh, close to a lake here, the other side, so I'm gonna eat something and then I'm gonna check it out, yeah! This is a nice area to throw a party. The only problem is there's nobody here. Here's a man-made beach. Look, there still is a work in progress. Well, I have to say, although it's man-made, uh, well, the lake isn't, probably, but the beach, the parking lot, all that kind of stuff, it uh, feels really good. So, I'm uh, staying the night here, and tomorrow I'm gonna chill on the beach a bit, by the lake. So, yeah, that's the plan. Oh, and I have to tell you this, if you don't speak any word of French, <laughs> you're fucked here. So, uh, I've spoken to a lot of people and some do speak a little word of English, but most of them don't, they really don't. So, I can understand French just fine I can speak it a little bit so I'm okay here <laughs> look there it is they're making a water installation it's not yet finished yet and there's the beach it's a really big area over here maybe I'm gonna explore the town a little bit so, getting on my bike and ready to explore the town. Let's go!